Maybe it's time to shave this off. Yeah. Yeah. Today I'm going to dedicate this, uh, this part of the vlog for um, the people who have the same condition that I have, um, which is basically high uric acid in your blood, also known as gout. I've been home for the last couple of days, unable to walk properly because of pain, the swelling, and it's, it's not a nice feeling at all. There, there are some times where the pain is so intense that... You may shed a tear. So, living with this condition for years now, um, I've been changing my diet uh, on what I eat, uh, changing uh, my lifestyle. Uh, try to avoid, you know, uh, going out as much, you know, partying and stuff like that. You know, drinking beer and you know things that would actually I want to say increase your uric acid in your blood um, however you know there's not that's my dog outside that he's he's trying to get my attention so if so if you guys hear any noises that's him outside there he, attention holder so you know it's not every day I will play an angel I will go out every so often but every so often you will get an attack and it takes the best of you uh, at times. This well, this time around, it sure did take a, a big chunk out of my time. Right. So, for some of you who are out there who know me, know that I do have this condition. For the ones who are new to the vlog and the ones who haven't known yet, yes, I do suffer from gout, and AKA high uric acid in my blood, and. In order for me to control this, um, what I do is basically stay away from organ meats like, uh, uh, I want to say, like tripe, uh, pig ears, pig knuckles, you know, all the nice stuff, you know, like salts and stuff like that. I, I, I stay away from, from those as much as I can. Now, I read a lot of articles that scientists claim that um, the body doesn't know the difference between... Uh, the type of sugars it take that is completely wrong uh, especially if you are a gout uh, per, a person that suffers from gout you your body immediately sends it or mine at least now keep in mind that everyone has the same type of body or reacts the same way to whatever they eat I should say uh, now I take take for instance I have eliminated all uh, sugary pops from my diet so that includes Sprite which I love Sprite, Coke, uh, anything that has a high sugar count um, I would do one every so often but I will check the label on the back and I make sure that it does not consist of any high fructose corn syrup now any type of corn syrup and if you're a person that suffer from gout, I strongly recommend you stay away from it. Try to substitute it with water or or some natural juice that you know that doesn't have any added sugars or corn syrup. That's where I wanted to say is that once you're a person that suffer from this uh, condition, you actually realize that um, the, those scientists are full. Those scientists are full of. Uh, immediately if I take a pop right now in about 30 35 minutes I could feel a little tingling in my joints or you know it could be by my most most common areas for gout to attack it starts from your toes or your your big toe area you know that that joint there that comes all the way up sometimes your ankle now, I didn't want it to go I didn't want it to get too severe that it comes up to my hand because I play music obviously and I need my hands for me to to perform and I don't want that I don't want my condition to get into 
my uh, how should I say it? my other love which is music by the way so yeah for the ones who out there who are suffering with gout um, my advice drink as a lot of water a lot of water as much as you can uh, stay away from the sugar stuff high fructose corn syrup anything that says corn syrup on top of the label put it back it won't help you it'll just make things worse maybe you might drink it it won't it won't hit you now because the, uh, your body is okay with it at the moment but it keeps on accumulating till it reaches a certain point that you will uh, you will feel it <laughs> and when you get that gout flare or that aka attack it's not a nice feeling so stay away from the high fructose corn syrup drink a lot of water stay away from the red meats you know beef i was a big beef man i love steaks ribeye steaks t-bone steaks love that stuff and all that's changed maybe i'm just getting older as i say i'm still young i think but uh yeah stay away from the red meat organ meats tripe uh What's this other thing I was I explained earlier? Uh, uh, anything that like an ear or or chicken feet or whatever you're into, you know that is um, organ meat. Um, stay away from that. That also builds up the the uh, the crystals. One minute. So where was I? Um, yeah, the red meats and organ meats, stay away from those as much as you can. Um, I, I personally don't suffer as much um, from drinking like wines, like white wines especially. Um, I do know some people that um, uh, they do feel it uh, the next day when they drink like a glass or two of white wine. Immediately they get a flare and it's there for two or three days. Now. For the ones who don't know what a flare is, is basically the uric acid will build up in your blood and it will form these type of crystals within between the, the joints. So it's basically you could you could look at it like um, a bunch of needles within your joint and yeah once you know you keep on poking that uh, meat in between or you know the the, the poking between the, the I wanna say the joint itself it will cause inflammation and it will swell so you can't even walk you know it's painful you know, again you could shed a tear on this thing the ones who are familiar with the gout you know again i'm going to say it one more time stay away from the sugary stuff high fructose corn syrup is your worst enemy they are substitutes for you know uh, natural sugar ketchup and even that is a problem stay away from egg yolks mayonnaise butter stay away from uh, chocolate, which I happen to have consumed a lot in the last week or two. I'm kind of addicted to this white chocolate. More than likely, maybe that's why I got this flare in the first place. But hopefully, I got some meds that uh, that would help me bring back that uric acid back down to where it should be. And I need to start. Oh, also another thing, exercise. You know, keep the, the blood flow going. Stick in at home. You know, being a couch potato doesn't really help. So um, that's another thing I need. also need to get back on track. I need to start exercising again. At least a little bit of jogging or walking. Yeah, that's the, the, the attention whore I was explaining about. He has his head on my foot. Now, thank God it's not the foot that is hurting me. So it's okay. So yeah, that's it for me for this week. Or actually, yeah, I think I'm going to just stick out stick around some i do have a gig coming up this weekend uh with the black sheeps with aline rockney mario chow christopher rudolfo some good friends of mine um we play in different bands you know some of us call us um music prostitutes but uh hey you do what you love right i think i'm gonna go back into bed i just want to shoot this real quick for you guys um if you have any questions you know shoot me a comment um uh, shoot me a mail hit me up on Twitter hit me up on Facebook. I'm all over the place so until the next vlog peace Bye-bye say bye-bye you say bye-bye no Peace
stay quiet. Hey, trying to do the video.